If you have a Shopify website and you are using a third party service for your link and bio page like Milkshake, Canva, or Linktree, you need to continue watching this video and make your own right now because those third parties are taking your analytics, important data, and the traffic that goes to your website. So if you have a website, you need your own link and bio page. You don't need to be using a third party. Hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kinsey. I'm the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial and I recommend that if possible, you guys take notes or follow along as I'm going through this process. Once you're inside of Shopify, you're going to hit apps from the left, and then you're going to hit the button in the upper right and type PageFly. Now I'm having you guys install PageFly right here because it is a no code builder. And most of you watching this probably do not know how to code. And this also has a free trial. In my opinion, this is a really easy way for people who don't know how to code to make their own link and bio page. Once you've installed PageFly, you can click get started and then head to regular pages from the left side and then hit create a new page. It'll just remind you that you only have one page left on your free trial if you're using the free version of this, which I assume most of you probably are. And once the page builder loads up, you can title your page link in bio or whatever you prefer to call it. You can then hit add element and from the left, drag over an image block. Once you put the image block on your page, you can then click it and from the right side, select the general tab to actually select the image that you would like to upload in the image block. I'm just going to use a brand mark and then adjust the sizing from the right hand side so it's not massive. Once you have it at a size you're comfortable with, you can select the full section that the image is in and hit the styling tab on the right to actually center the element in the middle of your page. You can head back to the left side to now add a new block, and this is going to be our button block. This is where you're going to link the buttons and whatever else you want to add to your link and bio page for people to access. The button works just like the image block. You can select the full section and then go to styling, scroll down and hit the centered text to make the button centered in the middle of your page. And then you can type whatever you'd like your button to say. And of course, you'll also need to link your button, which you can do from the general tab on the right. If you're linking it anywhere outside of your website, you need to make sure you hit that little open a new tab button. To change the color, you're going to hit the styling tab on the right, scroll down to background color and change it to whatever color you'd like it to be that matches your brand. You can then hover over the button and select the duplicate option. This will create more buttons and you can do this as many times as you need. At the top, you can change to mobile view to see what this looks like on a mobile device. And I think the key is a little close to the button, so I'm actually gonna click it, go to the styling tab, and put negative 70 pixels into the margin at the bottom. Once you've done that, you can hit page settings by going to the little dots in the upper right. And this is where we are actually going to turn off the header and footer for this page from the layout tab. You do not want the header and footer showing on your link and bio page because then people can access the main menu and it doesn't really function as a link and bio page. Lastly, you can hover over the sections and change the background color to whatever color you'd like the full page background to be. You can also select and upload an image if you prefer to have an image background instead of a solid colored background. Just make sure when you upload an image that it has a colored overlay so that you can still see everything on top of it. You're then going to want to add this code to the bottom of the styling tab under your buttons section. Once that code has been added, take and drag your image into the same section as your buttons and you can delete the old section that was formed from the original image. Now all that's left to do is save and publish our link and bio page. I'm going to preview mine from the upper right and hit right click inspect to see what it looks like on mobile. And you can also just go to this with your phone to actually get a preview of what it will look like on your mobile device. All right, hopefully you guys now understand how to make your own link and bio page on your own website. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments. If you found this helpful, please do subscribe, give it a like and share with other people that you know are on Shopify and not creating their own link and bio page. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.